Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to Redesign 16. So this is where I post about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle every single week. Before we get started on this updated how I prep my skin before makeup, uh, please like this video and please hit the subscribe button. So let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, so I wanted to hop on and show you what I do to prep my skin before I put my makeup on. So I usually wash my face at night and then in the morning I just take a makeup wipe from uh, Walmart. I've shown you this brand before on how to take your makeup off and it like they truly work. There's no fragrance in them. They are awesome. They come in a Two pack is an equal makeup remover cleansing towelettes. You get 20 or 40 uh, towelettes in each one, and you get a two pack for like almost six dollars, I think. So I like to use those, you know, in the morning just to make sure because make sure there's no makeup or anything but pretty much i do everything at night so that's just a like if i need to have them so i tested out this product the clinique moisture moisture sugar this is a hundred hours this one's different I did not know that it was 72 hours this one is 100 and I did it off I did a 14 day trial and I love this stuff it is amazing amazing I can't even talk right I did it amazing and it keeps my skin moisturized hydrated throughout the day and the other day I tried it morning and night and game changer like game changer so i'm gonna go in with this first and i'm just gonna start rubbing it in so the one i tested out for 14 days was a travel size one and it was 72 hours this one is a hundred hours of oh i got it in my eye Totally okay. Hold that thought. Okay, so I'm totally fine. Um, do not get it up by your eyes because if you get it in your eyes, it will be bad. But I'm okay. I just took a uh, tissue, toilet paper, and wiped it off, and I'm totally fine. Yes, it looks a little bit weird. It's kind of like sting in a little bit but it's okay so don't get it in your eyes and I put it around my lips because your lips are the most fragile um, and so like you want them to feel hydrated and moisturized so Oh, I just did it again. But I'm making sure that I get every inch of my face. And I um, I have noticed a difference. I didn't know this was 100. I thought it was 72 hours. So it's a good thing that I came on here and showed you guys. So I basically just rub this into my skin and if you see like I just posted it last week if you go f see the picture from day one to day 14 there is a huge huge difference like when I first started out my skin was completely red like I have normal to dry skin and I use 
Cinegen's makeup. If you've been around a while, you know that I use Cinegen's makeup, which is anti-aging, has skincare, and it is really good for your skin, and it actually has helped my skin over time. So, but I get a lot of redness, dryness to my skin, and the makeup does really help, but I needed some extra moisturizer, and so Synagens has skincare also, and they have great skincare. I just wanted to try something new, and I like absolutely love this Clinique Moisture Sugar 100 Hour Repairing Moisturizer. It is amazing. So that is dry into my skin, and usually I go in to make my skin more hydrated. Um, you don't have to do this, but I tried this a while back. It's the Elf Hydrating Face Primer. And even though Sin Engine's products have, I keep looking over there because that's where my products are. They have a primer to them already. And we do have still primer. I haven't tried it yet, but I used this while back, like a couple years ago, and I did not like it at all. But since I've been using this Clinique, this e.l.f., like I put them together or in layers like I'm going to do now, um, it really, really keeps my skin hydrated. Like it when you rub it in your hands it feels kind of like tacky which i thought was really gross at first and i like i'm getting used to it so i don't know that's basically and sometimes i been doing this lately i take the maybelline master prime uh, blur and defense and then I put it with this one um, it's just all about preference but I the best part of doing makeup for me lately I don't know if I've said this before is doing skincare because when I first started makeup I knew nothing about skincare I never did skincare like, some of you are probably watching this cringing, but like, I noticed that some of my friends who do Sin Engines were doing skincare, and I thought, I kind of want to try it. And since the new year came, I'm like obsessed about learning about skincare and how it works for your skin. Like, I'm going to be bringing more skincare things for you guys and testing them out. Don't worry. That's kind of a new thing for me. I don't know. So, that's basically what I do to prep my skin. I know I did a video a while back and it, like, it was different. Because over time I'm learning and I'm growing and I'm I'm being taught these things to bring to you guys. So if you are wanting uh, to know more about the skin or Synergen's makeup, there's a link down below that you can use to purchase or on previous videos like I do makeup videos. Um, well, yeah, this is a makeup video, but I was just noticing in the mirror like how well and clear my skin is. I do have like some old blemishes, but this stuff is actually helping them go away. So, um, but yeah, you can click and purchase through my link on uh, Synage on other videos so I'm going to turn the camera around to show you guys 
uh, what my face looks like with just being prepped. Nothing, no makeup, nothing on it. So here we go. Okay, so I'm in more natural lighting and this is how my skin looks when it is prepped and ready to go for makeup. I, like, if I didn't have to do a video, like, I would totally, if I was just staying around home today, I would, this is how I would wear my, my face. Like, I, don't get me wrong, I love doing makeup and I love bringing new things for you guys. Like, new things. Um, but behind the scenes, if I don't have to go anywhere, I don't wear any makeup. Is it anyone like me or is just it just me? Like, even if I'm not going anywhere, yes, sometimes I do my makeup. But are you the type of person who does not do any skincare and doesn't prep their skin? I used to be like that. But now, even if I'm not putting makeup on, I still do, like, prepping my skin because it, like, your skin just needs skin care. So that's what I have learned. So please like this video. Please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell before you leave. Um, and, uh... Ring the bell so that you will be notified. <laughs> I can't even talk right today. This is like blooper all over. Um, please ring the bell so that you will be notified every time I post a new video. First come, first serve. Thanks for watching.